All right, man, so look, we came across another crazy video. But before we get to this video, I need y'all to do me a big, big favor. Hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications, follow your boy on IG. What is y'all doing, man? Follow your boy on IG. Also, I got a podcast channel, link in the description box below. I promise you, if you like this channel, you go like that channel. But hold on now. Y'all thought I forgot about the poll question of the day. I need y'all to go down below in the comment section and answer this question. No matter what job, okay, no matter what job it is, and no matter how much they pay you, what is one job you would never work? It, it could be any job. What is one job you would never work, no matter what the pay is? Let me know in the comment section below. Me personally, I can't work at a factory. I can't work at a factory no more. I done did it. Okay, I, I can't do it no more. I'm not doing it. No, sir. Whatever it do, man, let's get into this crazy video. Welcome to the bullpen. In the bullpen today, I have a conservative radio talk personality, TV host, extreme conservative, and he's proud of it. Pastor Jesse Lee Peterson, founder and president of Bond, B-O-N-D, and host of JLP Show and The Fallen State. Um, Pastor Peterson, good day. Welcome to Indisputable. Thank you for having me on. I appreciate it. Sir, you all have a celebration coming up next month. Um, are you not the founder of um, White History Month, I think, which starts in July? Yeah, we're going to be celebrating our fourth year of White History Month mm -hmm. in July. And the, and the reason that we started it in July is because if you notice, July just feels white. Yeah. You know, it's, it's summertime, vacation time, relaxing uh -huh. time, reflecting time, and appreciating the yeah. greatest country on this side of heaven. Gotcha. And uh, so we are recognized. You know, you know it's crazy? By me, I've been watching Jesse for about what a couple weeks now, maybe I don't know. But I've been watching him for a little. It's not. It hasn't been a many, many, but y'all know. I've been watching him. I, it's funny because I I know why he did this. I know why he made or created or found, or uh, whatever. Uh, white History Month. It's because we don't give white people credit. Okay, we have a Black History Month. Like I said, black people they they put their lives above everybody else's life. But all lives matter, but they put their lives above everybody else. They got Black History Month. They got that type of, they got a month for that. But we ain't got a White History Month. We ain't got an Asian Month, an Asian History Month. We ain't got none of that. We ain't got none of that, but we definitely got a Black History Month. I want to add this also, okay? So I'm editing, but I want to add this in there. I believe that every color, every skin color, whatever you want to call it, I believe that everybody has some type of history behind it. I don't believe that there's only Black History Month. I believe there's every type of history. But we only have one history month, and that's Black History Month. I believe that's I believe it's history behind white people. I believe it's history behind Asians. I believe it's history behind, behind everybody. Simple as that. But black people would never understand that, and they will always think that it's just black this and black that and black this. Man... This is ridiculous, but finish enjoying the video. Let go, let go. So I see why he done. I see why he did what he did. You know, it's like a, it's like a joke, but it's like he's dead serious because we don't give white people the credit. We don't give them no credit. And then I know black people, what credit do you give white people? You give them a lot of credit. You give them a lot of credit because not all white people point the fingers at black people when they know that they're in the wrong. When white people, when some white people know, I'm, I'm saying some, when some white people know that they're in the wrong, guess what they do? They point the fingers back at themselves. They don't say it's because of it don't it, they don't say because i'm white so they done this because i'm white oh is it because i'm white no every time you talk to a black person guess what they say because i'm black because i'm black they did this because i'm black they only killed me because they only killed him because he's black they everything is because he's black you see white people hold themselves accountable for their actions but you don't see black people doing the same thing isn't that and showing our appreciation for it i think it's important for people to know um you're not a comedian uh, what you're <laughs> saying, right, what you're saying, this is actually you. You do this, um, you did, you did found, you're the founder of White History Month. Yes. Uh, you've also been very critical of Juneteenth. You have called it a fake holiday, uh, but you are, um, you want to make sure that everyone supports White History Month. I, Absolutely. I do want to have a policy discussion with you about the George Floyd Policing and Accountability Act. I'm going to attempt to have that policy discussion with you. Uh, do you agree or disagree with the George Floyd Policing and Accountability Act? I totally disagree because as we all know, 
George Floyd was a, a black, unemployed drug addict uh, with a criminal record. And, and, and what makes me so mad is that they literally idolized this man. They put this man above God. It, it was it's literally people. They, probably, they made a whole statue of this man. They literally made a whole statue. How can you idolize somebody like that? Oh, I know why y'all did it. Because some because um first of all, I don't know what race the cops were. I don't know. But I'ma just say white, okay? But I don't know exactly what race they were, but I'ma just say because a white officer killed them. So they idolized this man because his death. Now I don't agree with the whole putting the knee on the neck, like all that. I don't agree with that. Okay. And you know, resting long live George Floyd. Okay, I don't want to say rest in peace. I don't know where he went. I don't know. I, I don't know how he truly lived his life. But from what his background was, I know it wasn't a life according to the will of God. So I'm not going to say he was in heaven. I'm not going to say he was in hell. I'm not going to disrespect the man, but I'm just say long live him. Simple as that. But my whole thing is that they idolized this man to the top. They done beat the statue out of this man. They done did everything out of this man. Literally everything. Put his funeral on television, bro. This one's so viral. But they nobody cared about what his background was. Nobody cared about what his background was. He could he could he he could uh rape the little girl. He could have did something like that. And as long as he got killed by a police by a white officer, guess what? They don't care. They push all that to the side and they look at the fact that he got killed by a white officer. That's what they look at. They don't look at the background. They don't look at the history behind George Floyd. And I just okay. Uh, let, let's let's first of all let's clear something up, sir. Um. You really should be ashamed of yourself. You call yourself a Christian pastor. George Floyd is dead. It's his fault. He's he's dead I'm because sorry. a cop killed him. No, now, he's dead because, because he you just gotta love Jesse. I mean the sarcasm, just everything about Jesse. I mean the fact that he's just straightforward. He don't he don't take no bull. He's just straightforward, bro. Just straightforward. He said it's his fault. So it's his fault. Was question a drug to addict. you, my question to you, and that's ad, that's adverse to the evidence, by the way, what you just said. My question to you was about policy. So let me ask you, what in the policy of the George Floyd Policing Act do you disagree with? The whole idea. What Which really need, part of the policy, Jesse? Blaming the cops and no responsibility Jesse, for I'm the asking blacks. you, what part of the policy is written? You can find it at congress.gov. What part of the policy, sir, do you disagree with? This is a simple question. I disagree with the whole idea of a you policy. You haven't read the policy. I, you haven't even read the damn policy. Come I on, I don't Jesse. need to read it. I don't need to read you it. You don't to need to read it. This, this, is, this is what I don't like, okay? The fact that this guy right here on the, uh, on the freaking right, I mean, he came on already disrespectful. Already just so, just got so much anger built in him. So much anger. Why Jesse came on all calm and, you know, just chill, relax. This guy came on just so hot. For what, bro? For what? Is it the fact that you can't accept the truth and that you're going to defend black people no matter what black people do to black people? You're going to defend them by all means because you're black. But guess what? I don't care what color of skin I am. I don't care if I was white. I don't care if I'm Hispanic. I'm not going to defend another race when they, when literally they put their race above every other race. Like it's not multiple races. I'm not going to defend a race when all they talk about is racism and this and racism is that and white privilege this and white privilege that and how white people don't go through the same stuff as black people. Oh, I done heard a black person say that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not going to, I'm not going to defend that. I'm not going to defend something that is false. I'm not going to defend people that only use opinion over facts. I'm not going to defend that. It's always going to be facts over opinion. And this seems like this guy can't understand that and he can't accept that. He can't accept that. He already came on hot. The man is already just look, just mad for what, bro? He mad in this tight suit for to break out his suit. Cause what I've noticed is that black people today, due to their lack of love, their lack of believing in God, mm -hmm. they love evil more than they love good. Right. right? So that's the reason and why so, you don't read. And so the that's fact, the reason why you don't read. Right, because we're written by no good black people. And why should I waste my time knowing? What they're about, black folks today, and not all, not all, not all, but most, have no sense of direction. They are blaming everybody but themselves, Facts. and until they take responsibility for their own lives, uh, they are not going to get better. The now, real you truth blame, is, let me ask George you, sir. Floyd. Bingo, 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 bro. It's common sense.
It's literally common sense. But you know what? Everybody's going to fight that. Nobody's going to listen to that. Okay, nobody's going to listen to that. Everybody's going to go against that. No, it's this. It's the white man. This is white man. They always blame stuff on a white man, but they never blame stuff on a black man. Okay, they never blame themselves. They don't. They don't. Oh, it's the it's the white man. Why? It's the white man's fault that you slept with another black man and that black man up and left when you got pregnant. Oh, that's the white man's fault. Oh, that that that's that fault. Okay, it's not your it's not your mistake. It's the white man's mistake. Oh, wait, I just thought about something. It's your, it, it, it's the white man's fault. It's the white man's fault when something, when something in your life don't go right. When, when, when a police officer kills another black person, is it, it's always the white man this, the white people this and the white people that. It's always that, but we never look at the history, the background of the person that got killed. We don't know what their history was. We don't know what they done did. We don't know anything. And half of the time, we don't even know the full story. We see half of a clip and then we just go away and say, oh my God, that is racist. Seriously, bro. And <laughs> is there because of George Floyd that, and no one the, else? That's a ridiculous point. But do you blame yourself for not reading the policy or you blame somebody else? Why should I read the policy when I already know the people? They're you don't even know what's in the policy, do you? In, I don't need to know. don't want to know. I know the people who are writing it. They are no good. Okay. Uh, let's talk about Black Lives Matter. Uh, th this is probably going to end up being an utter waste of my time having you on the show. Uh, do you, oh, what, what are your thoughts about you Black You don't know Lives that. Matter? You may learn something. Well, we'll, we'll see, uh, Preacher. Uh, what, is, what's about, what is it about Black Lives Matter uh, that you disagree with fundamentally? Black Lives Matter was founded by a bunch of fat, black, radical lesbians. Okay. And who All hate right, have God. Get this clown off my show. I appreciate who you. Who hate you. God, Thanks. who hate Thanks. the nuclear Thanks. family. Yeah. Uh, Listen, oh, for those of oh, 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 oh. <laughs> you know what's crazy? Now, I'm, I'm a nice person. I would say all that. I'm not going to lie. I would not have said all of that, Jesse. Okay? Okay. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't have said all that, but Jesse's just a straightforward guy. You can't get mad at him. He keep it a, he keep it a buck. He keep it a buck. He just kept it 100%. That's all he did. You can't even get mad at that. But me personally, I just wouldn't have said all that. I don't support Black Lives Matter for a couple of reasons. And it's funny because it's like a lot of black people like this young man right here who support Black Lives Matter, but don't look at the things that happen in the black community. If like, does he not come to a common sense? Like, okay, this is why people don't support Black Lives Matter. They then they look back at they look back at the 19, they look back at 16, this and that. They, they always going back in time to slavery and doing this and that and how the white people did this and white people did that. But my whole thing is you can never look back in the past. You can never look back in the past. We are heading to the future, and I already know when you what you do in the past it could. It could affect the future. You feel me? It could affect the future. But now that we're in the future, we have to look ahead. We can't keep looking back. That's why we will never be united because we keep looking back in the past to slavery. We keep going back. Stop going back in time. Bring your butt into time. Okay, bring your butt into 2022 and realize everything that has happened. Realize how the how America done grew. Realize that we can be free. We realize that we're not we're not held captive no more. Realize that. Look at the good. Stop looking at the bad. Stop living in the past. That's what people fail to realize. You can never grow in life if you keep living in the past. It's like you getting out of high school. You get out of high school and you keep dwelling on everything that you didn't do in high school. Stop looking back in high school and just live in the future. Everything that you didn't do, that, that was in the past. Okay? That was in the past. Look in the future. That, that's what you need to be focused on. S simple. And a lot of black people, they look at what's happening back then. They look at what this happened back then, what that happened back then, but they never look at what's happening now. Look at what's happening in the black community. Stop looking at the little 10% that's happening with white and blacks. Look at the 95%, I mean, not the 95, but look at the 90% of things that's happening in the black community. Look at that. People don't want to look at that, though. They don't want to look at that. This man done kicked Jesse off his show simply because Jesse's about to speak the facts. Speak the facts. They raised all this money and it wasn't used for no good speaking facts but people don't want to hear that they don't want to hear what what the facts are they want to hear what they opinion are and let me guess if if a person don't agree with somebody i mean you just kick them off the show because he don't agree with you or you don't agree with him it's like bro why bring him on the show when you already knew what jesse point of views were it seemed like you already knew the man so you brought him on the show knowing his point of views and you asked him these questions to get his point of views to start up a conversation but yet you kick him off the show when he don't agree with something or when he actually be blunt and tell you the facts it sound like a bunch of it just sound like a bunch of bull to me it, it sound like a bunch of bull to me seriously if you if you knew the truth you wouldn't kick him off the show if you knew the truth. 
Simple as that if you knew the truth. But since you don't know the truth and you so blinded by the things that the media put out there and not knowing your black history for real, you kick him off the show. Let me see if he brought Jesse back on. I'm going to just scroll through. Let me see if he brought Jesse back on. Because if not, I'm not going to watch this clown. Okay, I'm not going to watch him. You know what I'm saying? But shout out to his channel, though. I hope he don't take this down. But um, it just, okay, he didn't bring Jesse back on the show. He didn't bring Jesse back on the show. But y'all let me know what y'all think about the comments. Uh, in the, uh, Wow. My lips was dry. I tried to lick them fast as I could and say something, but that did not work. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this uh, in the comment section below, man. Seriously. Uh, first of all, I want to know how y'all feel on Black Lives Matter. And how do y'all feel on the George Floyd incident? The whole George Floyd incident is a whole different topic. Whole different topic. I mean, we could talk about that topic forever. I done did a lot of videos on the George Floyd incident. Y'all can scroll down my video. I done did a lot of videos and said why I didn't support it. You know what I'm saying? Do I agree with the whole with Tim dying? No, I believe that, you know, it would have been better if he was in jail. I'm not gonna lie. You feel me? He could have, he could have, a lot of people find God in jail. He could have found God at that point in jail. I mean, it probably would have been better if he was in jail, but he passed away. So I'm you know what I'm saying? Long live George Floyd. No disrespect to his death, but the background that this man had and the fact that people, black people, idolized this man as if he was a god, that doesn't sit right with me. But y'all let me know what y'all think about the uh, about this in the comment section below. I love each and every one of y'all, man. We on the road to 54K if we didn't hit it, but we've been going crazy. I love y'all, man. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.